Hey Bob, it's me today. I'm going to talk about the new, uh, what is it, respawn vans that are coming into the game. Because, uh, they're causing a lot of controversy. And I guess I'll put my opinion on it. So, if you don't know, there's this minute trailer on the Fortnite YouTube channel which shows the respawn van. Now, the respawn van allows you to respawn your teammates in duos or squads, because I don't think solo really have that because if you die it's it but also in team rumble <laughs> i don't know how it'll work i don't know vlad i think it's just specifically duos and squads in any variant of game mode so i don't know if like the big game modes like team rumble or disco dominate would have the, the respawn i don't know they're not in the game yet i don't know how that will work i don't know if it's out there somewhere that says that information i don't know but that that's kind of thing because specifically in duos and squads people the skill gap is very big like that's kind of an annoying thing if you can respawn teammates because what's the point of killing the team then if you can respawn them how like how many people can you respawn and what looks in the trailer is that if you respawn them they'll have nothing but You'll just give them stuff. They'll just gather more materials and they'll, 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 they'll get back on their feet. I don't know how they'll work for late game, but they'll come when it comes, I guess. And also, finding the van, you know, activating it, pressing the active key. It takes a little bit to activate this van. It's not like a quick thing you can do. It will alert you. That's kind of the thing, like risking your life to respond other your teammates to have uh, other people alert you. Which, again, like, I mean, the main problem I'm having is that the sweats, and I know I call them tryhards, but for this video specifically, I'm going to call them sweats, because the sweats are difficult to kill. I've experienced this, my friends have experienced this, I've seen it with other, other streamers, other people, they, they... They're, the sweats just are invincible. You shoot them, shoot at them once, they build a five-story motel. It's it's really ridiculous, and four of them all coming at you on your team that can't even kill normal players that well or have a struggling time with it. You're not going to be able to to defeat these sweats. And if your whole team sacrifices their life to to defeat one. Of the four sweats, and those sweats are like, oh, we need to get them back, and they'll go in, and they'll get through the respawn van to bring them back. It's like, what's the point of the whole team sacrificing their life to kill the guy then? Because that's kind of ridiculous, and it's unfair to that team then, because their hard work of killing that one sweat is pointless then. And another controversial, controversial thing that I think. You may not know about if you don't play this game, but I think Apex Legends has a respawn system as well. You know, I, I don't play Apex Legends, I don't know. I, when I when I looked at the trailer and looked at the comment section down below that video, I noticed a lot of people were saying that this, they're ripping off Apex Legends, which reminded me of the time when Fortnite became popular in Season 3, and people were complaining that it was similar to PUBG, and how in every way, shape, or form it's like PUBG, except better graphics, because PUBG looks like it was made in 2002, but... Anyway, I'm not getting a whole debate. That was a long time ago, the whole PUBG versus Fortnite. I think people just went to separate ways. People who want to play PUBG played PUBG. People who played Fortnite played Fortnite. They stuck to it. Sometimes they will go back to PUBG, because that's, that's what people played before Fortnite with PUBG. I remember when I was at school, people were talking about PUBG a lot. Now with Apex Legends, it didn't have the same momentum as Fortnite did when it kind of launched. Like, it gained popularity, but it's kind of dying down, but the one thing is that every update Fortnite does is try to replicate Apex Legends. Or, they add stuff, they give you free items. Notice that they gave you a free battle pass for the Season 8. Why they do that? Because they want people to stay in the game so they don't go to Apex Legends, because they know Apex Legends is the new Fortnite in a way, and they don't want it to gain as much popularity as their game did. So, in order for that not to happen, they have to think smart Epic Games and give you a bunch of free stuff and make similar things now 
to Apex Legends, so I don't really respawn system in Apex Legends. I don't play the game. I don't know. So I can be completely wrong when it's like, oh, the respawn system stars in there. I don't know the respawn system. All I know is that the Fortnite re the respawn system is getting a lot of people upset, especially Jordan. I see, he left the game. <laughs> he uninstalled it, I heard. Um, I don't know if he's going to make a video on that, but he's done. I mean, he has a YouTube channel where he does Fortnite stuff. I don't know what he's doing with that. I don't know. So, he left the game once he heard the respawn system was coming to the game. He was just done. He bailed. He booked it. Which, I, I don't blame him. Welcome to the club where you hate Fortnite. Because all it is is just sweaty tryhards. Or, or sweaty sweats. Excuse my language. God forbid I call anyone a tryhard to get offended. But, those sweaty sweats that I just control Fortnite now is just ridiculous. Uh, they, they really need, Epic Games really needs to stop with the whole, you know, like, siding towards the sweats, siding towards the scrim players, because they don't, they play the game a lot, yes, but they're the, they're the sweats that plan on a constant basis. This game is a quote-unquote a casual game, yet it is not a casual game. It was a casual game during Season 3 and 4 and kind of 5. Once it got to season six, it was like, well, crap, it's not. This, is, this feels more sweaty. You know, if you have people building castles, you have people building, you know, you can't you can't fight anyone. You have to spend like what five minutes building up to the max height limit in order to defeat someone. And even then, you're gonna die because they're gonna edit 15 structures all at once to kill you with their with their golden pump shotgun, which does two 300 damage. But what about the Fortnite folks? If you, if you started playing this game yesterday, you're not you're not gonna get a kill in, in like two years. Your first kill you're gonna get in like two years, or unless you find a default, which finding a default is really rare. I, well, I call them season eight default because they they got the season eight battle pass for free, and it's their first battle pass. We well, can tell because they're using if they use season eight stuff and season eight skins, they're season eight default. Now that's judge a book judge a book by its cover type of thing, but that's what I think. So, the whole, like, getting back on topic of the whole respawn van, it's just another example of why Epic Games are just not listening to the casual players like myself. I don't, I don't play this game on a day-to-day -day basis for, like, 12 hours. The longest I played Fortnite, 7 hours. That's the longest. And even there, it's just... My back hurts. My eyes hurt. I... Just playing the same thing over and over again and dying over and over again gets really tired. The only thing that makes this makes Fortnite fun is creative. Like if they take that away, uh, they're screwed because that's a lot of YouTubers play nowadays. Or death runs, uh, certain game modes. I know Sunday plays creative a lot. And he said that uh, because Fortnite is so repetitive and it's just they only listen to the tryhards and sweats. That it's just, it's not fun anymore, like, it's just build battles. And I think that's why the respawn bus is another example of that. That's why more YouTubers are gonna leave their, their regular games, solo duos and squads, and go to more creative playground. Because it's not fun, you know, building for five minutes. And having a risk of trying to kill someone, which you're not gonna do. Because everyone's better than you in this game. So, I'm, I'm done. I, I was basically my opinions on this. Hopefully, this is in, they, they realize, because Epic Games has a trend of adding in something, then removing it a day later. Then they're gonna tweak it and nerf it. Then nerf it, then they're gonna, they release it, then take it back and then nerf it to the ground. And that'll be the end of the story, where it's gonna be completely useless. People are gonna forget about it in a matter of like two weeks. So, hopefully, the respawn van or bus or whatever the hell it is, it's it's not overpowered and hopefully it's good enough. Cause I never would have thought that they would add in a respawn van. Cause isn't Battle Royale survival of the fittest? Like it doesn't really make sense to bring back the weak. You know, if you die, you're weak. But whatever. I'm just a casual guy who plays Fortnite for about one game and then goes back to Minecraft. At least Minecraft, you can play it and won't get bored as easily. 
Because there's multiple things you can do in Minecraft Rise and Fortnite. It's just grab guns, fight, die, repeat the cycle over all over again. So, I'm gonna go now. I'm I'm done. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you hit that like button and subscribe. Uh, hopefully you'll do that, stick around for more videos. I have a second YouTube channel called Keith Talk Star Wars, where I talk about Star Wars content. Similar to how I talk about Fortnite and Minecraft on this channel. So, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed, and you'll stick around. So, uh, bye.